Ahoy shipmates, today we're going to have a paint at these guys, these are the new pit warriors from Gripping Beast, it's a plastic kit set, you might have seen the previous video I put these guys together and that's finally got around to painting them. So what we're going to do, without further ado, we're going to I'll run through the colours, these are all army painted colours. There's nothing special there. I'm just going to pop on the base colour. What we do is I will put on the base colours. Then we do a bit of the highlighting. I want to show you the the fun bits on the picks. So the checks, the tattoos, and stuff like that. So I will pop off and do all the flesh tones on these and run a flesh wash over them and then I'll pop back see you in a minute okay so as you can see I have done the flesh there what I did base coated the barbarian flesh quick wash with the citadel flesh wash and then I've highlighted it with the barbarian flesh again because obviously a little bit later we can do the tattoos over there so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit on all these base coats on there. So got my big army painter base coating brush. Thanks again for the guys at Griffin Beast for sending this stuff, supporting my video. I think I spoke to them today and I believe the, the boxes of the picks and the Welsh are in stock now, so they're very able to order. I think they're taking them to the I think it's Hammerhead show this weekend. I think they're taking them to there. Oh, they're on the website. Very busy chaps at the moment. People have gone absolutely crazy ordering their front rank miniatures from them, which is great news. There's a lot of the front rank ones I want to have a go at as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to base coat these guys in. So I'm using a little bit of my matte medium that I make up just to thin the paint a little bit. Keep everything flowing. You've got a few subscribers. If you're watching this and you're enjoying it, you can uh, drop a subscribe. I'll be most grateful. Just let me know. I'm not just talking to myself. You can feel free to pop stuff in the comments of stuff you'd like to see. I've got a few videos lined up after this one. Obviously, this is the picked one, so obviously I do a paint for on the Welsh as well. 
These are the two new ones. And since I've made them up ready, I might as well paint them. I thought this would be the more fun one though, because you got a lot more details to play with. Not being too fussy, we're just gonna get the base coats down. Okay, well I won't show you all, all those. I'm gonna get the base coats down, and then I'm gonna match them up with washes. So I'm gonna obviously I'm using the Citadel washes. I'm gonna just wash the base colours, and then I'm, I'm coming back. So I'll see you again soon. Okay, so I've done the base colours. Just a couple of uh, coats if needed. Just get the a nice strong one. Being quite bold on these colours. Now what I'm doing is adding a little wash. Army paint do some ones just match colour for colour. So instead of going for a all over kind of brown wash. Just use that blue on the blue. It makes sense. You know it does. And if it's too clean at the end, you can always put some brown over the top. Okay, so it's gonna a quick wash. And see, I'll just dump some base colours on. Okay, so in the blue, for yellow, this is the one you want. Get some under yellow. One of the best washes out there. Awesome. Which army paint did a yellow? Kind of a... I use this sometimes on, if I've done a red and, and highlighted it all the way up into the oranges, I'll sometimes drop the yellow wash over the top, just to kind of lock it all down, you see, you don't see it, it's dry, but you just get those little nice shades, this, one. this is more of a, a brownie yellow, I think it's basilisk brown or something. I'll do a list of uh, paints if anyone wants them in the uh, comments. Just comment if you want me to comment the paint colours. How's that sound? Okay, so see, I'm being get it on there. Don't mess around, get it on there. And then if it starts pulling up a little bit too much for you, wick it away. Okay, so that's the yellow. Let's do the greens and browns, and then I'll paint the straps, and then we'll move on. See you in a bit. Okay, while everything's having a bit of a dry, I'm just gonna put my basing compound on. I'd like using this uh, pomace. Um, there's loads of different makes of it. Some different colour. You can colour it yourself if you want. I in the past have just dumped paint there, but yeah, so just get this on there. I like using this neutral colour. So I can use it on any bases and paint it afterwards. I think it just ties everything up. I think the trick with it is not to, it's very easy to smooth it down. 
and just get like a pancake look. Lump it up. Yep, that's the one I use. Others are available. Okay, well, I'll see you again soon. Okay guys, so what I've done, I've laid down all the base colours and put washes on them. Also, I've dropped the metallics on there and put a bit of black wash over the metallics. Also, I've done the eyeballs. Some of the washes there, I saw the blue is a bit a little shiny there, and the green is a little shiny there, but we're going to drop a matte blacker over the top anyway. I do love the expressions on these guys' faces. Get some! <laughs> So next, now I've done the base colours and the washes, um, you could leave it there, or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop a few highlights on. So I say we can see the raised up areas. So. I'm not too worried about getting extreme highlights on these. So I'm actually just reaffirming there. I'm using the same yellow before I did the wash. So it's going to be a bit of strength from the ones that are there more than making it really glary. So obviously I'm going to go over the top of these. This one I'll use the dark yellow one. So we just use this light yellow. I'm not sure how much will show up on the camera as I'm doing this but I'm literally just I'm just hitting the higher areas now. Leaving the wash in the recess. Okay, so I'm going to do this one because I've used quite a different blue there. So I'm going to use a lot of my matte medium and make it really transparent highlight. So it's really going to show the other blue through a lot. And I'm just looking for where the light's going to catch. There's a bit of blue on this guy. Yeah, I use that matte medium all the time. really good let's do this green green enough on there let's do a bit of blue on there okay so I'll just jot around and do the highlights and then when you come back I'll be ready to get on to the exciting bits all the checks all right I'll see you soon okay so now we get to the fun bit we can do some checks and some stripes so this guy here he's gonna need some yellow stripes what you need to do is make sure that your paints nice and Thin. Then lock your hand against something. Okay. 
all your line. Make sure your paint's loaded. Okay, you see it's quite pale. Let's walk down just a little bit too much. It's all about making sure not too much paint's on that. And it's going to roll and flow off your brush. Okay, so yes, so I'll just pull the line, it's good if you can get the calming sound of the snoring staffy in the background. Oh, he's having a roll over. Let's see, he's obtaining maximum comfort position on his beanbag. That's all we do. Okay, well, I'm going to do that. I'll come back in a minute when we're doing some of the more checkery ones. See you in a minute. Okay, so as you see, I'll just put the straight checks on. Now, to make these look a bit fancy pants, we're going to drop a red check in between. Bless you, Spike. That's the one where you can tell when he's awake. Sometimes if you're worried about getting the uh, consistency right on this uh, water down paint, I sometimes use um, inks instead. Um, they do run off your brush better, but you do have to be a little bit more in control of it because it's very easy to get them running all over the shop. Get the brush running nice. I'm using the uh, board game of Psycho here. So I'm just. I usually do all the lines down first, but let's do one across to. Okay, the helpful uh, stuff he's decided it's time for him to roll around on his back. I suppose if that's the f what you want to do, if it feels good, do it. Yes, bite. Just letting this red run a little bit thinner. I 
You see that? be perfectly straight from their clothes on perfectly flat they just go with it stuff like this free hand in line in like this it's all about trial and error What's the worst that can happen? Okay, okay so I'm going to finish that off. And then I'll finish the rest of the checks and stuff on everything. As you see, when these are done. Do some red on him. Put some red on him. Obviously he's got none. Okay, so I'll get that done and then we'll be back for tattooing. Okay, so that's that all done. And we've done some edging on this guy. So what we're going to do now is do some like tattoos, like the blue roadie kind of look. I like to use uh, game ink for this, blue ink. You can use uh, dark blue, just water it down a lot. I just like the pigment load that ink has. Get plenty on there thing and then take some of it off okay see so that look I've got the back of my hand against the edge of my painting bench locking that hand off And I, I rest my other hand on my fingers, so I'm forming like a a locked off cradle, I suppose, from the bad description. Can you see that? I think. You can really just let go and have at it on this. And that's going to dry back a bit and then when the lacquer's on it as well do a little bit on his face I'm just going to use the very tip of the brush remember When you're looking at these from 
and they're on a the table and they're three foot away. You'll see the blues there, but. Okay. Right, I'm just going to finish the rest of these, and then pretty much done. Just got to get the shields done. And then we're ready to get some stills. So. I've got, as you saw, I've got the brown on the bases. It's just I watered down some muddy looking brown. Watered it down. Bosh, bosh, bosh. And I'll dry brush some light brown over the top of that in a minute. And then um, you can decorate it to your heart's content. You put a bit of tuft on there. Whatever. Whatever tickles your fancy. Okay. So. I'll get that finished off. And get in the light box. And thank you for watching. Hope you stuck through it. Um, these are available now at Griffin Beast. Give them a shout and get on it. I hope this has been helpful. Like, subscribe, comment if you want to see anything else. And I'll see you next time. I think I'll be painting the Welsh because they're ready to go as well. Okay, cheers then. This is Pirate Rich signing off.